To balance this equation, O2 yields O3, let's first count the oxygens on each side. On the reactant side, we have two, and on the product side, we have three. So this equation is not balanced. We don't have the same number of oxygens on each side. The thing I like to do is get the odd number even by multiplying by two. So I know if I put a two as my coefficient, three times two, that'll equal six. Now over on the reactant side, if I want to get six, I know that two times three will also give me six. So at this point, I have the same number of oxygen atoms on each side, and this equation is balanced. The key here is what we're doing is we have oxygen that is breaking up and rearranging and forming O3, ozone. So we need three oxygen molecules to end up with the two ozone molecules. When we do that, we've not made or create any new oxygen atoms, we've just rearranged them. This is Dr. B with the equation O2 yields O3, and thanks for watching.